She did it. She made a video. It might be clickbait, I don't know, but I'm here for it. If you missed yesterday's video, you can go ahead and click onto that to be updated on what's been going on because, you know, I follow J Vibes, I follow Nick G, the host, Royalties World, and, you know, they were cute together, you know what I'm saying? But just because you look cute together and don't mean it might, it's gonna be all like dandelions and butterflies, okay? That's not the case. Either way, whatever the situation is, they broke up on good terms. A phone bill happened and everything went downhill and they, I don't know what's going on with them. Nick G, the host, said she was gonna make a video on it exposing J Vibes. I don't know what that means exactly, but the video is up right now. It could be clickbait, I don't know, but I might as well just fucking take that bait, okay? Let's watch it together. She titled this video, The Truth About Our Breakup, It's My Turn Now. All right, well, she's got a lot of views on it. Let's see what she has to say. You know, host, and today, I have recorded this video at least seven times, right? And every time I try something different, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna come to them like this. Y'all, my ex exposing me. I just can't believe this. <laughs> Y'all, I'm absolutely flabbergasted. Y'all, have you ever been with somebody for six years and they make it seem like you never was there for them ever? When you was the main one there? Then I, I had moments where I was, I was angry, I was emotional, I was all of these things. And then I decided, you know what? Be yourself. <laughs> Say how you really feel. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to welcome y'all to the story of me and my ex. Oh no, I'm like worried. I don't know why. But I am. I'm a little bit worried. I don't know what she's about to say. Because listen, in every relationship, we all have our faults in it, okay? No one is perfect. Doesn't mean you have to go out to the world and just expose those flaws and those faults of the other person, you know? Shit happens, but I don't know, we're gonna see. Now, in this story, I'm not gonna tell y'all what happened with us, because I'm gonna give you a whole animated story time for that. The petty levels of what actually happened to get us to this point is beyond me. I mean, it's absolutely above me now. You get what I'm saying? But I'm gonna go here. But girl, but you were included in that too. It, if you're just referring to Jay, it was you too, girl. You got real petty. Some of y'all may know my ex, some of y'all don't. Some of y'all started watching this channel in front of to New York. It was a time before that. Me and my ex were together doing pranks, challenges, blah, blah, blah. I was watching just before, give you a rundown before the whole queen we thing. came from our background and things like that. <clears throat> you know, I'm trying to help her be this, 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 this great YouTuber, this great personality to show her personality. So I wanted us to be on YouTube so we could do that. I wanted her to feel like um, she had friends because she never had friends. I wanted her to feel special. I wanted her to feel liked. And I knew people would like her personality, especially in the pranks, if the pranks were more so on her side. And you know what? That's a true statement because I was watching Royalty's World before Queen, okay? The whole Queen um, video. And J Vibes was, was not as talkative as much. And when the pranks started happening, I started to get a vibe of her personality. And that's what got me into her and I subscribed to her channel. And you know, J Vibes is the shit, you know? Now, if you haven't noticed, and you go look back at all the prints, they were more so on her side. You said take yours. You sacrificed me yourself. I am appreciated oh. that. Yeah. Hey. Hey. You know I'm to work, woman. Happy Father's Day, like you tell you. I sure did. I bet you did. Hey, yeah. my baby dad. Get the... It's a prank. It's a Stop. So you don't want to be my prank at all? Nope. So yeah, how about that? Oh. Hey, oh, so I just... <laughs> I put out, <laughs> I did this intentionally. I, this 
was my idea. I wanted to do the DK4L uh, pranks and challenges, couples challenge thing. <laughs> the way she edited this. This cover. Whoever did this cover. long time five or six years however long it was it's a long time you go through it you go through everything together the ups the downs the laughter the anger the passion go through it the struggle the success and that is why I, I find it disappointing because at least have respect for each other, you know what I mean? At least that. You don't gotta be friends, but at least have that respect for each other because you guys went through it together, you know? personality I wanted her to know that people loved her because she don't she didn't think they did right um, she never had friends she really still don't have friends um, and there's nothing wrong with that because I don't have friends neither it doesn't necessarily mean that there's something wrong with us so I don't know what she means by that she keeps repeating that and you know when I met her she was just all alone um, and I fell for that <clears throat> I was like you know I, I want to, I want to make her feel special. It was just something I felt that I needed to do, right? Now, <clears throat> in the midst of this, trying to do YouTube with a, a, a person that you are in a relationship with is very hard. I commend DK for it, for real. Um, it is very, very hard to do, especially when y'all not on the same page. We weren't on the same page. I branch out, I take over the channel. We can't get along. You don't want to work. I want to work. You work a job. That, that's your thing. I need this income. I want this income because I want to be able to take care of us. And I know I can do that. She also agreed to work a 9 to 5 while I built the channel. And for her doing that, I told her I would start paying the rent with a YouTube check. I know that I can get that done for us. So that's what I did. Went out to New York. Got the best, the best, best uh, deal of my life with uh, Spicy Management. I still thank you, Spicy Management, for doing what you did. Also, uh, Queen Clarence and my dude. Um, I went out there. I was, a, I was able to fly because of her flight benefits.
What kind of benefits? May something. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Myself, I'm know, a little slow when it comes to stuff like that. May help a lot. So after that, my whole life changed. Everything changed. I was in green light. I was on, in go mode. You know, <clears throat> and in doing so, things started to change after that. Anyway, it was already feeling like it was a, uh, you know, neglect, so to speak, because I was more focused on working on my craft and doing YouTube than I was in this relationship. But not only that, when you are the person who has to come up with the ideas, you have to come up with, let's just go with everything, baby, everything. After a while, it tends to, to put wear and tear on you, to put wear and tear on your brain, wear and tear on your body. You get what I'm saying? And after a while, that's what it was for me. I mean, God, you want me to tell you where to eat, where to go, how to do it, where to do it. I mean, what's, what, what, what was left for me? It was nothing left for me. Y'all don't know why we broke up. Let's go there. Hold on, though. Hold on, though. <laughs> so let's say the relationship was that way. Where pretty much you were kind of a parent, if that's what you're saying. And taking care of someone else. In every way. Emotionally, financially mentally whatever whatever you say right if that was the case you could have changed that you could have sat down i'm sure you guys have had talks about it maybe arguments about it but the only way to to better someone else is by motivating them and not necessarily putting them down for how their personality is maybe they need that maybe they need that little boost but right now the way, the way she's complaining about it, as if Jay was a burden to her life. But, but she, was the, she was the person with the ultimate decisions of her life. So if she wanted to change that, she could have easily left. From what she said already, it seems like she already knew how Jay was the moment she met her. I mean, do you expect her to change overnight? Yeah, six years is a long time, but you have to understand growth takes time. You gotta be patient. I broke up with her because of toxicity. We've been together for six years. Oh, so it's not retrograde. Okay. If I'm exaggerating, five. 2013, you do the math. Today, you decide to take personal business of what we went through in our relationship and share it with the internet. I am absolutely flabbergasted. <laughs> More so the flabbergast. Nick loves that word. She uses that word all the time. I'm disappointed <laughs> that you would go so low, you know, to, I guess, make me look like this person that you want to play me out to be, right? Now let's go here. I'm not perfect. Oh, hell no. I'm not. I'm far from. In, six, in a six year span, do you know how much you could do? wrong in a six year span. Some oh, things yeah. she said was true, some things she said was false. Y'all decide whatever you want. But you know, I already told you, if you believe her, you a fool too, right? <clears throat> in a six year span. It's but she may not be telling the whole truth. I don't know. But there's some truth into every lie. Okay, that's what I, that's what I say. So either way, whatever Jay is saying, you're saying everything she said was a lie? Everything was a lie. So we're a fool to like listen to that. I don't know. It's a possibility for anything to happen. I spent 365 days with you times six, sis. And so we're human, right? The things that we went through in our relationship was our business. True. Not for the world to see. That's true. And y'all wondering why I'm coming to this, this, this platform today to tell you what was going on in my relationship when I already told y'all that I wouldn't do that, right? But the whole point was to tell y'all, I'm not gonna tell you why we broke up, I would never do that. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I am gonna tell you why. I said, I'm not gonna do that. You don't get on the internet and expose or defame or degrade somebody who once was there for you hand and foot somebody that you were in love with because i mean therefore you baby you just sound bitter 
You get what I'm saying? See, so I don't know how it, I know it's about the phone bill, so I guess Jay Vibes is the one that started everything with putting it out in the public. And I'm not really on Instagram as much, so I don't know if it was on that or if it was on Snapchat, but I, I follow YouTube mostly. So I was behind in a lot of stuff. So I guess Jay is the one that started the whole public exposure. Now, we have had our back and forths. We've gone on, I'm, I'm gonna speak for me. I've had my back and forths with going on live and um, saying things back because I am just shocked <laughs> that she would come to this internet and expose anything that we went through in our household. You get what I'm saying? That's crazy to me. But you can play that game. You can have that. Because I'm still not going to do that. That's just absolutely, that's so low and so bitter and so distasteful that I cannot, I cannot share that with you. You get what I'm saying? Even if it gives me light, I can't share that with you. So anything that you've done and all the bull girl that I went through with you, that I could share with the world, I'm going to keep to myself. Okay. That would be my gem for me. Okay. Because I know why we broke up. You know why we broke up. I know why I no longer will let you take any energy from me. You get what I'm saying? I gave you so much energy, girl. Everything was coming out of me while I was giving it to you. And now today you can be, <laughs> Miss, <laughs> I gave you that confidence, baby. Oh, I hate when people do that, Neek. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Don't take credit for someone's confidence. Don't do that. You, you, made it, you may have helped her a little bit, but you didn't give it all to her. That was her building herself. And you may have helped in that, but don't take all the credit for that. Oh, I don't like that. I gave it to you. And I'm so glad that you had that today because you're able to survive. I wanted to teach her how to survive is what I want because I know how to survive. You get what I'm saying? If I don't know how to do nothing right, survival is what I can do. <clears throat> so we went through all that, you know what I'm saying? Um, relationship stuff, I still don't expose. And the other day we had a situation where I simply wanted to pay a bill, right? Y'all wondering why we're here. You're gonna have to pay attention to the next video. A next well, video? Because of that. I got exposed with, I guess, per personal information to the following that we have shared um, to make it look like I'm the bad guy. You know what? I'll take the bad guy. Let you be Miss Innocent. You got it, baby, if that's what you want. If everybody got to hate me for you to be happy. Y'all hear how that sound? Girl. <laughs> Throughout this entire relationship, I gave you everything I had. Before we broke up, I told her, I've given you all that I got to give. Girl, I can't give you no more. Or ain't gonna be no more me. I can't give you no more. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I can't give you no more. And that I understand. I, that I understand. That's when it comes, that's when it becomes toxic. Is when you're giving all of your energy, your love, your your motivation your positivity your everything all to your partner and leaving nothing for yourself it's draining and that can be toxic for yourself because by the end of the day everyone and, and there a therapist would tell you this everyone has to look out for themselves first for example when you're on a plane and the plane's about to crash the masks come down they will tell you to put a mask on yourself first before you help your friend, your child, your mother, anybody. Because you need to take care of yourself first in order to help them. So if she was already drained, giving everything she had into Jay, then that's when she, be, she will become a little bit miserable and not, not emotionally stable. And she did need to separate from that, if that was the case. It, 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 I won't have nothing left. Have y'all noticed that at one point we was up, 
And now, it's looking like I don't have anything left. Follow me. A, I'm alone. Completely. I have a great, a great team around me. But for the most part, I'm alone. I'm moving back and forth. This apartment, that apartment. Uh, I'm moving from Atlanta to Charlotte. I'm, it's a lot that's looking like I'm a little out of whack. Right? But baby girl got somewhere where she can go. She, daddy's, daddy's angel. She can go there and, and, and live rent free. Um, you know, pay the car payment and the car insurance and the phone bill and be able to survive. And have way more clarity than me because I'm over here cleaning up what was messed up when I was giving you all of that. You get what I'm saying? Y'all, I took it. Girl, don't blame her for everything though. See, now I see what Jay is talking about when she says that she's playing victim because right now she does sound that way. And I hate to say it, Nick. I hate to say it if you're watching this. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm not liking your approach in this video. It's not looking good to me. And I'm pretty sure you have a lot of supporters with this video, but it's just, for me, it's just not clicking together. Yes, okay, yes. Jay has family that she can run, run back to in case things go wrong. That doesn't make her bad that doesn't make your situation worse you may not have your mom or people to go to and you're out on your own pretty much you're doing what you got to do to survive i get it trust me i slept in my car many 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 times okay i get it but that's not jay's fault that's not jay's fault care <laughs> everything everything but this is not about finances. I took care of everything to the point where it was your mental, your health, practicing on your well. You follow me? This is my point. <clears throat> Up to this point, I have treated you like a pure queen. We have had our ups and downs. That's what happens in relationships. There's nothing you can say to me that'll make me feel bad for what we have gone through the past six years. I had to grow, you had to grow. We fought, um, you know, we helped each other. We paid bills together, all of that. We can't even take that from each other. But in the process of all that, I treated you like a queen. That's something you will never, ever be able to take away from me. Okay. And you know that. But you can play this little facade and, and act as if, you know, you queen ding a -ling and, and, and you did all this by yourself. Cool. You got that. But I will say this. I still have enough respect to not expose you for the fraud you really are. That's something I'm going to keep to myself. I know y'all out there, y'all want that. Y'all want to know the fraud she really is. I'd rather not share that. You know what I'm saying? I, I'd rather keep that shit to myself. For me. But I tell you what, y'all wanted to know why we broke up? That's why. You want to know the rest? Stay tuned. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't know. I, I don't know what I just saw. I really don't. And I mean, Nick is doing a business move right now. What she's doing is doing a part one and a part two and who knows a part three because she knows people are gonna be watching right now. And she did that thing what a lot of YouTubers do. They sit down at a table. They talk one-on-one, -on -one, professionally, calmly. Be yourself, man. Be yourself, you know, talk passionate if you have to. But this seemed, this this video seemed more like a business move. My, I don't know, that's what I think. Um, I'm pretty sure Neek has some good points that she wants to um, give out to everyone to see or to, to hear. And I'm sure she's gonna show us on the next video. And I'll be here to watch it. I'll be here reacting to it. But in my opinion, I don't know, man. I didn't like that video. She, I feel like she made herself look to be a god to Jay. That everything that, that Jay is right now is because of her. And we all know that's not the case. Jay is what, 25, 26 years old? And she was only been there for six years out of that. It took a lot more people, a lot more experiences that made Jay the way she is now. That's Gizmo, sorry. 
He wants to come in here with his toy. Anyways, I'm gonna cut this video um, because he's gonna keep going at it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment below, let me know what you think about this video. Am, am I wrong for what I'm thinking, for what I'm feeling? I don't know, do you tell me. All right, y'all, don't forget to subscribe to Bliss and Pris. That's me and my wife's vlogging channel. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.